commitments to launch uh, the integrated service delivery plan known as Operation Masipatisane. Let's talk to Zimkita. She is with the Premier uh, right now. Zimkita, etati onke, longke kwashala kosisi with the Premier. Welcome back, Palesa, and uh, good morning uh, to those who just tuned in to Morning Live. Yes, we are here at Monte Village outside Bizana in the eastern Pondland part of the Eastern Cape. The initiative that we're talking about today is Masipatisan, a government launching this in initiative with the aim of bringing different departments together under one roof when they bring services to rural communities. We are now going to speak to the Premier of the province. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Pumulo Maswale, uh, Premier, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Just tell us, why is it important for this initiative to be launched today? Well, uh, thank you very much. Good morning to you. Good morning to the, to the viewers at home. We're very much excited today because we have finally got to a point where we are launching uh, this uh, operation, Maspatisane, which is a new way altogether of providing services uh, to the people. A new way in the sense that all government services shall be coordinated from one point and that point being at the war room in the ward. In the ward, we shall have uh, not only the community leaders, uh, the councillor in the ward, traditional leaders in the, in, the, in the area coming together together with officials from government uh, departments. In that way, the vision of realizing people participation in their own development is to be realized and we think through that we'll be able to effectively mitigate the question of lack of information uh, poor communication at times that leads to people getting frustrated at times to do some of the things unfortunately we see uh, roads being dug uh, protests of different kinds everyone else and of course the beauty about this also the political leadership from the mayor uh, the district, uh, the provincial administ provincial government, it shall take turns looking after these war rooms, the functionality, so that our people indeed can be part of their own development. Okay, let's put this to practicality, uh, Premier. For example, are you then saying, for example, in a police station where public works is involved, where the Department of Water Affairs is involved, roads to make sure that access roads are built to a certain police station, are you then saying such services would be will have a, a different outlook? Look, the starting point is that from the planning around uh, the ward itself, uh, the realizing ward-based planning, uh, it's going to spring from the ward. In that way, we shall secure that development is not top-down, development is moving from below. Uh, various needs of the ward, uh, as we have to support the integrated development plans by municipalities, how they interface with the rest of the other spheres of government, this will now find expression in the ward. And in that, it will lead to better coordination, uh, attendance of uh, particular needs. Uh, look uh, in the, each of the households. There may be specific, peculiar things that need to be attended for each household. You've got a better way of handling and attending to that now. Police, social services, health services, all of them, uh, we're now going to have a better way in which uh, to see to the provision thereof. Thank you very much, Premier, for your time. Well, that is the Premier of the Eastern Cape, Pumulo Maswale. Well, uh, unemployment and illiteracy levels in this area are high, and uh, rural development is key to transform the minds of the, of the people here, trying to engage them in different rural development projects to get them active, to put food on their tables. Uh, let's speak to one of the MECs that are brought here today to this conference. Community, you, Mr. Mlibon Koboshiane, uh, who's going to tell us how important is your department in Umasi Patisane? I think uh, the initiative as led by the Premier indeed is going to respond directly to the challenge that we are faced with because our own extension officers are operating at ward-based level. And I think this model is going to ensure that food production, uh, farming practices, cooperatives, because nearby we are investing close to $6 million for a rural enterprise hub where we have established that uh, primary cooperatives must plant maize, maize must be pro uh, processed locally and taken to the markets. Therefore, it means people are going to gain employment right from this area, uh, Kimfani area, which is what they do, one of Mbizana. And the second important thing is that the skills, the training, the acquisition of knowledge is going to be a local based and such produce will be taken to the markets and that will guarantee employment and I think the communities in rural areas are going to feed even the urban centers. So it's a backup 
uh, uh, back-to-back situation. Uh, Miss are we likely to see more projects, new projects being introduced? I know uh, in some areas we have challenges where uh, the land that you want to develop is under land claim. How will you deal differently with those issues? Most definitely. Uh, last week we were launching a forestry program, 37.5 million out of uh, 110 uh, uh, 13 million that we are investing uh, in the areas of Matatiele under this same district we are investing in this whole district 41.7 million because the uh, premier indicated that rural development must become an anchor of what this province must look like therefore the green uh, economy the green gold that we're supposed to mine plowing cooperative processing and uh, food production livestock improvement program is part of the game and I can say Eastern Cape will never be the same again. It's trending towards a positive light. Okay, thank you very much for your time, MEC Koboshiane. Well, Leanne and Palesa, I have to invite you to come to the Eastern Cape to get your hands dirty in rural development projects. Let's plant those trees. Let's plant those vegetable gardens in our yards to ensure that food security is there. That's the message that this province is bringing to the people of this area. And uh, Leanne, it's not just going to be launched here and only exercised here. It's going to be taken to different different areas of the Eastern Cape to improve the situation and the outlook of the Eastern Cape province. Well, that's all we have time for now here. It's back to you in Johannesburg.